Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. First of all, I would like to thank the organizers, the first Paris Panjata International Seminar on Computer Science, Engineering, and Technology, that have given me the opportunity to present our paper. The title of our paper about the modeling and performance analysis of synchronous for the cheapest fleet connected to the generation system. This paper was written by Marcel Safuddin Nasri from Muhammadiyah University of Bandung and um, Hafiz Ariri from the Department of Chiefa University of Science, Malaysia and also Mr. Jaya Kunchara from, from the MD University Muhammadiyah Bandung. We have known that the energy is such to energy resource with is readily emitted as pollution free, abundant and readily available. The photovoltaic generation system become a focal interest in Norway due to the fact that is one promising renewable energy resource to be integrated with the utility grid. There are many problems related to the PV generating system grid connections, which should be properly addressed. One of the major problems is lack of synchronization. The modeling and performance analysis of the synchronous reference frames SRF with a paste lock loop PPL for the three phase speed going to the test generation system. So in this figure where the model of the structure grid connected to the generation system proposed consists of the PB models component, DC DC boost converter and MPPT included three phase voltage source inputter, filters, coupling transformer and then synchronization component for the PPL. PB models such as in this figure yes, or the solar PB models are used to convert the solar power received from the sun to electrical power in the DC mode. The characteristic of the PV models, so in this figure, yes. and then the other component of the system is DC DC converter. In this case, we use the DC DC boost converter. Where the boost converter performs to operate the PV modules at the maximum power point and boost the DC voltage level to the appropriate level so that it is easily to convert into the desired AC voltage. The DC DC boost converter provides the control of the PV modules, control for the output the voltage so that the PV module operate at the maximum output operating point and maintain the voltage input to the inputter. Well, the maximum power point tracking MTPT is a technology used to extract maximum power from the PV modules. This is the method algorithm used in this system is the perturbation and observation PO. And the SPWM voltage source inverter 
three phase is utilized to convert a DC voltage from DC DC bus converter into the simplified three phase AC signal of the desired magnitude and operating line frequency. Meanwhile, the sinusoidal pulse with the modulation SPWM is used as the PWM control technique to generate the desired pulse strength to the power switches. And then the component of system is coupling the transformer. Coupling of the transformer, the introduction of the step up coupling power the transformer in the three phase grid connected TV generation system is power up the line voltage level from the three phase voltage source inverter according to grid standard and simultaneously to work as a galvanic insulation between the PD system and the utility grid. The other component is line filter based on the IEEE recommended practice. Number 512-1992 It is said that the total harmonic current distortion PSD shall be less than 5% of the fundamental frequency current at the rated inverter output. Consequently, the implementation of line filters is essential to provide the low current distortion level in order to ensure that the no adverse effects are caused to other equipment connect within the same utility buses. The other part is the control strategy of the phase loop, loop PPL. This PPL control timing is a vital component in the grid synchronization. It is implemented in the Q synchronous reference frame SRF. PPL able to provide fast and accurate the grid information with a high degree immunity against disturbance, harmonics, unbalance, sex or swell, notches, and other type of distribution in input signal. PPL is to measure phase angle of theta from the angular frequency omega of the grid voltage. In the SRF PPL, the voltage of the grid VA, PV, PC are converted into the DQ reference frame in a two-stage transformation process. This is the ABC frame to alpha beta frame and then frame to the DQ reference frame. So the simulation research, the grid connected PV system, where the parameter parameter of the system listed in the table below, this PV models, this is the converter, inverter, filter, coupling transformer, replace with source, where the Line voltage or grid voltage is 415 line to line voltage. The research saw that the figure so characteristic of the PV modules, current and voltage, and the power and voltage curve of the PV models such as in this uh, figure. So the other figure is uh, output voltage waveform of the push DC DC computer. And then the other figure so the pulses of the SPWM. 
and then this big uh, output voltage of the inverter before uh, before transformer so after the transformer the output voltage uh, look like uh, almost to the sinusoidal waveform so in this waveform contain the low total harmonic distortion the last conclusion the modeling and performance analysis of synchronous reference frames SRF is low loop PPL for the three phase pre connected PB generation system has been presented. In the grid connected PB generation system, one of the main important issues is quick synchronization, which is well addressed here in this paper by the use of SRF PPL. The switching of the three phase inverter is performed here by using. SPWM. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.